creating your payout structure in iDev Affiliate um, is done through what we call payout levels. Uh, and the reason that you may have different payout levels is because you have the ability to pay different affiliates different amounts if you want to. Um, obviously, if you just want to pay one flat rate across the board for everybody, you wouldn't really necessarily use the levels. You just use payout level one, for instance. You wouldn't enable additional levels. Um, so let's just jump right into this. I'll show you some things um, and where these settings take place. You're going to come up here to your commission settings menu and you're going to go to payout levels. Now on this very first page, you'll see you have the ability to enable um, different payout methods, which would be percentage, flat rate, or pay-per-click. So the reason you may have multiples enabled at once would be is if I have Joe, I want to pay a percentage, uh, let's say 15%. And Mary, I want to pay a flat rate of $12, no matter what. She gets $12 per sale. So if you're only doing percentage, then obviously just enable this. You're not going to enable these two. If you do have a scenario where you want to mix and match, um, you would enable multiples here. We're just going to start with percentage um, to get started here in the demo, um, to get our feet wet a little bit. And then we'll come back here and we'll enable some of these and we'll get in, into a little bit more um, advanced setup. So for now, I'm not going to change any settings here. I'm going to go straight to my payout levels. And you'll notice I only have payout level one enabled and it's set for 10%. Right? So now I have the ability again to create multiple payout levels. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to show you how it works real quickly. So knowing that we only have the one payout level created, we're going to go to create payout levels and it's automatically going to default this to payout level two. And remember we're at 10% on payout level one. So let's set payout level number two to 15% and say create level. All right. So you see, we now have two payout levels. So this is, again, this is good for if I want Bob to get paid 10%, I want Mary to get paid 15%. Um, it's, can be used for multiple you can you can use it for under multiple um, scenarios so you know i've seen uh, most of the time i see multiple payout levels used is incentives um you know i have a really good um, affiliate who's doing um, you know a lot of high volume so i'm rewarding him with a higher payout level or i have maybe i have a marketing partnership with uh, company xyz over here they're doing some extra marketing for me so i'm giving them an, a little extra percentage um you know those are some typical scenarios, but again, the payout levels are available for you to use in any manner you wish. Um, and you can enable up to 100 payout levels. I'm not sure that you'd ever really need to do that, but you do have the option. And one thing I do want to clarify real quickly on this um, video is a lot of people in the past anyways have confused payout levels with what we call tiers. Um, and if you're not familiar with what tiers are, tiers um, give you the ability to uh, have your affiliates recruiting other affiliates under them. Um, and it can sometimes be confused as, as a payout level being a tier level. It's not. Tiers are up here in commission settings and in tier payout levels. Covered under a completely separate video, I just wanted to mention this um, to clarify. If you're looking for the tier information, you want to go to tier payout levels here. And there's a video on that page for you. So getting back to our payout levels here. Um, now that we've got multiple payout levels, how, what do we do with them? How do we, how can we move an affiliate account, for instance, from one payout level to another affiliates, and then basically you just want to find your affiliate. So whether he's an approved pending or declined, wherever he is, go to the affiliate account by clicking manage account. And then up here in this tab, you'll see commission and payment. You'll notice he's, this, this affiliate is currently set at percentage payouts, all we have enabled, and he's on level one one. So if we want to move him to payout level two, bingo, we just did it. This affiliate's now on payout level two. Now, if we come back to our payout levels and we go to our manage, you'll notice we now see one affiliate now exists on this payout level two. So we just moved him um, from payout level one, payout level two. Um, Remember in the beginning, I talked about enabling multiples. I'm going to show you how you can have multiple commission methods enabled. So now let's assume I have another affiliate who I just want to pay a flat rate of $12. So what we'll do is we'll enable flat rate. 
Now, you'll notice once we have multiples enabled, we have to have a default commission type. And this is when the affiliate signs up, when they're create, filling out the uh, sign-up form, creating their account, we have to default them into something. So at this point, now that we have multiples, we need to pick one. Which one do we want to be the default for all new accounts? Now, this option here, uh, allow commission type choice, that would actually give your affiliates the ability to choose how they want to be paid. Do I want to be, you'll notice, watch if I set, hit yes. Now this modifier down here changes um, because we don't need a default anymore. The affiliate's going to choose during sign up, but we also have to now uh, decide, do we want these this affiliate to um, be able to change later on? Um, by editing his own account, he can, he can change. He can say, I don't want to be on percentage anymore, moving to flat rate. Now, the idea behind this feature originally, years ago, was using a pay per sale, either percentage or flat rate, in conjunction with pay per click. It's not that popular of an option anymore. It's not something I see done very often at all, really, anymore. But the, the, the feature itself still exists, but it stems from launching your affiliate program with pay per click and then eventually. Uh, converting accounts over into paper sale. So that's where it stems from. Again, not many people are doing pay-per-click anymore with their affiliate program. Um, but again, that's where it comes from, a little history there. So um, for now, we're just gonna say no, and we're gonna leave it at percentage. So now that we have our new flat rate uh, payout method enabled, now if we go to payout manage, uh, manage payout levels, we now have our flat rates down here, and it, uh, defaulted into having three levels available for us. Now, if we don't want them, of course, just hit remove. You can't remove the first level. You'll even notice it says this level can't be removed. You must have at least payout, one, uh, payout level one enabled. So um, again, we wanted to set that one account. I think I said $12, right? So now if we come back over to our affiliate list, we'll edit this account, commission and payment. Now we're not just going to move a payout level, but we're also going, we're going to put them on flat rate. And you'll notice it says payout level has been reset to level one. If you're okay with this, you're done. If not, please adjust payout level now. Anytime you move uh, commission style, you, they're automatically going into level one unless you define it here. So we're going to leave this account at uh, 12. So now this account is getting a flat rate. Anytime a sale, uh, they, they generate a sale, bingo, $12. Um, and we can see that again over here in our payout levels. One affiliate exists here, one here, and two here at 10%. So there's a good example of having a mixture, different affiliates being paid different amounts. Um, really the only thing left here is um, your approval settings. Um, and this is the default state that the commission is going to be in at the time it's created. So each time a uh, new commission is created, You'll see over here, the commissions, if you set, have it set to pending, all new commissions are gonna come into the pending approvals list. I highly recommend that setting um, for a number of reasons. You really never wanna auto approve any new commission coming into the system. You've got some auditing that needs done. You wanna verify that commission against fraud, chargebacks, refunds, possible you know, 30, 60, 90 day um, refund policy that you may have in place, et cetera. You don't want these, um, for the most part, you don't want these um, commissions just coming in auto-approved. Um, now, again, pay-per-click, if you're using pay-per-click, again, not something I see that often anymore, but if you do happen to use PPC, um, a lot of times you actually will want those to be auto-approved because typically those are set for pennies, um, if not a penny, and there's a lot of commissions that come in to go through and manually approve hundreds if not thousands of commissions every day can become a very tedious task. So, um, but yeah, there you go. That's your uh, approval settings uh, for your different payout methods. Um, and that's about it, really. That's, that's your payout levels. This is how you um, define how much your affiliates are gonna be paid.